There we go. Yeah, see, OBS sometimes is just like, nah, I'm going to disconnect all your shit. Hello, everybody and anybody watching. Hope you spin more than me. Ah, oh, cheers, Bristle. I doubt you'll spin in the Aston, mate, over the chicane. Speaking of chicanes, yes, Zolder. Um, absolute death over the chicane. Let's have a look. See if I died over the chicane this time round. Look at how much you've got to clobber this curb. Whee! That was actually really good that time. But yes, thanks for watching anybody and everybody. Make sure to leave a like. Early doors. Uh, I am joined tonight. I'm joined tonight by Chris, my championship rival, and Ryan Cooper from our 24 hours race. The squad is almost fully reassembled. Hello, internet. Oh, everybody said hello back. You've got... Yep, every... no, there's no one. <laughs> one of these days. Yeah, that'll happen. Yes, Brizzle, appreciate it, man. And have a good race. Uh, where are you at the minute, fresh Brizzle? E21, you've got more time in you there, mate. At least top 15. Minimum. Right, I'm going to get out on track. Make sure I drop a vote on the... Um, on the poll, I put a I put a vote on Chris. Destination question mark, Shadow Realm, Narnia, space, podium. Mm. I'm leaning towards seventy five percent of the choices. I think most will. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right in here. Cool. All good. Right, let's get out on track. Less chitter chatter. More splitter splatter. <laughs> Kill me now. Space, Skaz says. Yep. Cheers, mate. Yeah, at least once tonight. At L least once. You know, like I said to Chris earlier, at least the thumbnail isn't clickbait. That's all I'm going to say about that. We're, uh... I mean, I think the only clickbait is the fact that it is in clear blue skies. Or cloudy blue skies, it's... Yeah, it doesn't quite match the track, does it? No. The thing is about Zolder, right? It looks like it's just around the back of an industrial estate. As the car park somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're just going to set some quality laps to try and get up to... Chris's time of a 27.7. But the car's a bit leery. 
as we've come to expect. Mm -hmm. Yellow flag, yellow flag, be careful there. Well, I'm probably going to repeat myself multiple times to anybody that's watching that pops by, but yes. At the minute, with everybody who's joined this race, because he won in the championships and missing this one, it's going to be an absolute monumental task for him to get anywhere close back to P1 again. Um, and me and Chris don't plan on missing any races, and we currently sit P2 and P3 in the championship. Uh, I'm not sure on the points gap between us. So is that like eight? Eight or nine. Yeah. So, the way the point structure is, every position is a point. So every position could be absolutely crucial. But, uh, we just, you know... First and foremost, let's not die. Hello, Jamie. How are you doing? Nice to see you. And if anybody wants to keep me updated on the England score in the chat, that would be much appreciated. But yes, we've got about 20 minutes until quali. And tonight, the servers have been merged between the Pro class and the Am class because there wasn't a lot of people, so they've made the, the grid larger by merging them. Which I'm not a fan of, but you know, gets more people on track and makes the comms a bit more entertaining, I guess. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Be careful there. So there's more chance of death. We'll suffer it just this once. Yep. Whee! Even in Michael, Skaz and Jay, even in Jamie, yes, everybody. How are you doing, Kino man? How was your, uh, I'm not going to say the, the exact words, but how was your night last night? Even Jamie, Mr. Mr. 58. Yep, I think what Zaktal's P4 in the championship. I don't think he's close enough to catch any of us, however. What, even we if we definitely take a P1? Yeah, okay. Look at that at the minute. 1, 2, 3 for Red Kings Motorsport. I love that. Taking over FRL. We've got uh, Patrick Dane uh, in the AM class as well. In the Beamer. Right here, it's the right car to have. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely balls, dude. Uh, I would agree, Kino. Uh, Jamie, I would agree. Yeet. Need a yeast counter. Great time spent with less than two wheels on the floor. <laughs> That'll be some epic data. AWS on that. Imagine if Rensport managed to get AWS as a partner, though. Hmm. That'd be really cool. Maximum airtime achieved. Maximum career airtime. <laughs> Alonso, definitely. Evening, Ginger. Slow 51. Did Jimmy get the 50th Silverson? He did, indeed. He did. Literally, like, I'm just going to go out on a limb, Jamie, and say it was probably the last lap you were going to do. Just sent it. Blue flags, dude. Blue flags. Blue flag, blue flag. Boys, help me with this up quickly. I mean, if I'm getting loads of oversteer or applying throttle out of corners, what do I do? When I drop the rear ride higher from running back to The cope is happening to us as well. <laughs> Which corner? Every, like, semi-fast corner basically and getting loads of like oversteer 
Uh, I think lower the bump, isn't it, Chris, on the front? Um, lower the front, bump stock range, drop the rear, raise the front, raise the preload. The thing that fixed it for me the most, uh, Ryan, was lifting the, the front one mil. Lifting the front one mil. I literally did one mil at the front, and then the, the bump stop, like Chris said, that, that was like a fine tune. Because okay. I, I used it to bring back a bit of oversteer after lifting the front. But obviously, Porsche is a bit of a bit of a backwards yeah. car when it comes to setups anyway. Yeah. Very Is it? Yeah. Oh, fair. In terms of like, how you set it up. Lift the front. Yeah, just one mil. Yep. And then on the bump stop range. I'm running 18 on the bump stop range on the rear. Lower. Front. Yeah. Front ones. No, oh, yeah. rears, mate. Rears, yeah. What, what's your front? 12. Lower it to like 10. Nice lap time. Is it? Let's have a go. Let's have a go go karting. Easy. Yeet! <clears throat> Cold outside, isn't it? It is. Ah, I'm validated. So, guys, tonight we're only going to get 10 minutes quali. Uh, it's a 20 minute quali session split between Pro and Ams. Uh, praying for no rain. I'll only make driving this Porsche a bit more of a bitch around here. So, that chair was very nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, Kino. Twenty sounds yeah, I mean it is quality. Um oh, understeer. So happens when you raise the front though, uh I mean it might help you Ryan, but for me I'm just getting understeer on exit. But if you're getting oversteer on exit, it should help. Yeah, definitely. It feels a little bit more stable out of corners, to be fair. So, I think definitely helps. Good. We do get a one, two, three. We should do Ford versus Ferrari. All drive over the line together. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not risking that one with you two around. Oh, I'd be like, full flip. Actually, yeah, it's a great idea. If I'm in P3, we'll do that. <laughs> I don't mind. I've already seen 27s in my Delta in my dreams. <laughs> Saying that I have a better understanding. I also might be able to get 20. Exactly, Jamie. Once you have a better understanding of the car. But to be fair, you'll be pushing it in the mag out to get 27s here. Without doing flying lessons. I think Aaron's just about managed to 27 line. Yeah. Thirteen minutes. I must remember to leave the lobby and come back in. Mm -hmm. Ah, wasn't the best chicken. To bump me on the exit, but that's the randomness of for you. Terrible second chicken. All over the shop. Be cautious. Yeah, he might just be sandbagging though. Have to be his race pet. Yeah, I think we have to expect those sort of tricks with the company we keep these days. Yeah. 
Evening, Jamie. Double Jamie. In chat with me is uh, Chris Vinan and Ryan Cooper. Hello. You may, you may recognise them from being legends at the 24 of Spa. Yes. You sound a bit like Jeremy Clarkson there, and I'm, I'm all about it. Yes. Yes, in the jam. Ah. I went on the internet and I found this. Whoa! Hey, Raymond. Whoa. Anyway. RKM Gods. Oh no, yeah. Anyway. James' favourite gift to use against me. Literally RKM Gods, Jamie. Agreed. King's Motorsport M4. That's Patrick. Oh, that's Patrick. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm still have drove off the track, and I've still got a ten. No, I've run off fuel. What a. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Thought you put a lottery ticket on tonight. <laughs> ah. Nice to see you, though, Raymond. I know I recognise you from Jamie's uh, live stream or live streams. Hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. How long we got? Ten minutes. Why can I just need two hours on mine? I think they just need two. Yeah. Still forward it. Oh, okay. So a tenth and a half. Oh, wow. Two t three tenths and a half. Okay. So 27.6 off the... What was that? Oh, we're going around a little bit quicker than you, Chris. Just a little bit. Hello, dude. How are you? Is anybody watching the England match in chat? You're going to have to teach me how to get under two minutes. <laughs> Everybody else, right? That was just, that was all marketing, Skaz. Me teaching Jamie. Everybody else has to pay. <laughs> Free marketing tutorial. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I do want to do, like, Red King Motorsports, like, be part of the Discord, get involved and... We'll do a tutorial kind of night. Yeah. I'd like that. I think I'd be good at hot lap. I'm not a hot lap. I'm a track guide. Yeah. Did you watch any of me and Jamie last night at all? No, I've been no. a bit busy the last couple of days. No, it's no worries. I'm not. I'm not putting you down. I'm just saying, like, Jamie was struggling. He was in the 59s easily, really. Um, just couldn't stretch to the 58s. I gave him a few pointers. You know, breaking heavy, less, you know, rolling the car through. Rolling the car through, I think, is the biggest bit of advice you can give to anyone. You know, yeah. don't slow the car too much, just roll it through. Um, but yeah, he got into the 58 on his final lap. Half a second game. It was amazing. Mate, he was chuffed with that. He was buzzing, mate. And rightly so. It's a good benchmark to be in the 58s. Yeah, roll the car through, Jamie, I agree. Woke up on the right side of the dirt. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Uh, now that Bathurst's out the way for this season, I feel all right. Um, just need to fight my teammate, Chris, for the championship, uh, really. That's <laughs> the competition. Because the top guy who's leading championships is not here. I mean, he's only top by what? He's... Six, four, five, six points or something. It's not a lot. Yeah, it would have been. It wasn't a foregone conclusion. That he yeah. Win it. Yeah. And he didn't run away with it. Spapping everywhere. <laughs> Even in mighty, my thigh. I pronounced it correctly. Lock this iPad up. And while I've got a few uh, people in. Just a heads up that I'm doing another 24 hour race tomorrow, beginning half 11 uh, at Watkins Glen with some German guys, German teammates who have in uh, invited me to race with them. And it's for charity as well. So drop by. There'll be a donation counter on stream so we can keep track of, of the progress of that. And then obviously I'm racing with Jamie on Sunday or Alex. 
This for Alex at Silverstone. I'm surprised Dave's not asked one of you to be his teammates. For that. Yes. Oh, okay, fair enough. But I said I'm shit at Silverstone. <laughs> fair enough. I'm glad you're not there then. I'll be at Bathurst anyway, I think, depending on whether John Batten does his qualifying laps. What was that for? For the um, VCO World Cup thing. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's yeah, decent. Uh, two, I think my fuel consumption is 2.5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 21 litres. I should see as a full stint of quality. I should see as a full stint of quality. Uh, It is going to be a good one, I agree, Jamie. Yeah, I think me and uh, me, you and Kino will have it. We'll have a good laugh, regardless. Yeah, Jamie. I don't know what it is now. Four six three or something. Four hundred and sixty something. But yeah, if we can get. I, I, I mean, I'm pushing for five hundred by the end of the year, Jamie. That, that's a more realistic goal. <laughs> I'd love it by Sunday, but. End of the year. I'm, not in, I'm in no rush. Guardi is in Dream Team Series Live. Hope helps. Mate, anything like that, dude, is just insane. Any kind of shout out in any one of those streams. Awesome. I've had a few little kind of interactions with Jardy, uh Mainly punting up the ass in one of the, <laughs> in the rings. But nah. Um... The thing is, Jardier's audience is massive. And, uh... I am nothing like him. Both on track and personality-wise. At least I don't think so. He's full of energy, isn't he? I think... Too much energy? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you do you, dude, but oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like watching him. He's very entertaining. Oh, yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's a brilliant watch. Um, good, good and bad things. I like his class. I'm just not as, I guess, open and emotional as him. I do have, like, moments, but, like, I'm not as, you know? And his, his obviously, he's learned English, and it's not perfect. I just find it hilarious sometimes, some of the things that he says. I think it adds to his uh, charm. Oh, God, me and Keenan have decided to pull the finger out. It's going to be tight for Collie. We're going to really have to hook up a lap. Ten minutes. Uh, our Red Kings Motorsport driver, Patrick, in the AM class here. I didn't sync the liveries, unfortunately, but he is there. Red Kings livery. A great Jimmy. He's a kind chap. Good guy. Oh, you are a mod on... Um, Ollie's nice. Next time you see uh, Jamie in there, dude, just ban him. Three year timeout on, on uh, Red Ken. At least chat. <laughs> yes, Alan, I noticed you went there, mate. Class. Amazing, Brizzle. Don't forget to quit. come back in get your tyres. Yeah, I've done it. You've got three minutes, uh, Ryan, if you need to. Okay, I'll work out. That definitely helped with the setup. Thank you very much, boys. No worries. It's Chris, really. Chris told me how it's here. <laughs> Just stole all um, the glory. I'm kind of like Red King's not an engineer, but I don't fucking know anything. <laughs> Just guesswork. It is. Pretty much. And no, it's, it's, it's educated guesswork from experience. That's what it is. Yeah, we ended up with an all right setup at Spa, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We, we did, mate. Yeah, we definitely did. I mean, it was slow, but it was safe. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even say it was slow. I was driving it like a prick, but it was very, very good in low grip conditions. Yes. Best car I've ever driven. It was. Safe is what won us, like, P3, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I would agree with that. You channel the same name, everyone's subscribed to. 
Okay, let me mention just like Jamie. Nice one. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, GR. GR says good luck, lads. Appreciate it, GR mate. Thank you, mate. Make sure you all leave a like. Yes. Oh, I'm out of breath already. I'm, I've got that false sense of security running into a race where I'm in the you know the top end. Uh, and then we get to the race and just die at T one, two, three, four, something. Yeah, by me or Chris. That's the funny thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to sit back. If you are ahead of me in quality, I'm not going to send it on you into T1, 2, or 3. Like, I'll just wait. But sometimes you need to go forward or to stop those guys behind you getting past, so that's the main thing, really. I want to say you've overtaken the first chicane like I did last night. <laughs> Ian. We need whoever's at the front just to keep keep the train going so no one pulls away, and we're just five-car train for the whole hour. Yes. I mean, I'll try. It? I'll try it again. If I'm in, if I'm behind someone, I'll send it. I'll just send it on Chris into the first chicane. It is really hard to have to take it. To be fair, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think the best parts are of the second chicane, then the run up the hill into that heavy breaking. Yeah, that's probably the best. People want to do it the first chicane because it's hard breaking, but it's very leery. Very hard. Yeah, it's very hard. Off we get right asked. Have a good one, Jamie. Have a good night. You deserve it from all that work. I've reset my pressures. What what pressures are you running, boys? Uh, mine are six eight, six eight front left. Yeah. Yep. Seven five. Yeah. Six four, seven zero. And that's for a fifteen degree track, so you might have to put uh take a click out. Right, arms are out there, so don't leave. Okay. Are they slow enough that you reckon we'll lap them? No, probably not. Probably will. But in the race? Multiple yeah. Multiple times. Yeah, there'll be a few getting lapped because obviously there's a bit of carnage and things as well. Thank you for the sub. Eugenio Perez, classmate. Appreciate it. Let's keep bumping that number up. As everyone mastered, press the like button. <laughs> Love that. the right le level hint of sarcasm but I appreciate right let's uh, jump on board with our Red Kings driver Patrick there he gets on in quali uh, Patrick's I think he's I'm not too sure where oh he's just binned it on the exit of the pits he's still going oh he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna go um I'm not sure where he is in the championship I'm I'm 99% sure he's he's high up I'm going to be like Horner here, Christian Horner on a pro class going out in Am's Am qualifying time. <laughs> Was he Patrick Dane, yeah? Patrick Dane, P1. yeah. Three point lead. He's, he's a three point lead in P1, is he? Mm hmm. Nice. All right, we're rooting for Patrick then. Let's, uh, if we do see him on track, boys, let's not put him. I think he's quick anyway. He'll be in the other top 10, if I'm honest, even with the pros in here. Especially in the Beamer. I've got the thing is, dude. I've got the I've got the bot set up, but I, I didn't have enough time when I did it to to set it up properly. Like I've just been absolutely rammed this past week and a bit with racing, uh, getting thumbnails, practicing. I've barely seen my partner. Never mind, <laughs> never mind all these little other things. But no, I will I will get them set up eventually, um, because I want one for like. Uh, well, obviously, like, subscribe, but obviously, um, equipment, uh, affiliates and stuff, sponsors, you know, that kind of thing, and socials. And if anybody is watching that wants to follow me on, uh, on social media, have a look on uh, Twitter and Instagram, Michael Races. I post on there a little bit, really. Probably should do more, but, you know, busy bee. I might, I might queue at the end of the pit lane now. Seven minutes to go. Your tyres will be freezing. Yeah. And on the outlap, they'll just be absolutely grained. Mm-hmm. 
like a minute ago. That's when you saw. Why did you say uh, maths in the chat? Well, because they said that it was eight minutes for the AMs and eight minutes for the for oh, okay. qualifying, yeah. and that didn't add up. And Boswell is a quick guy, and the uh, twenty-eight three is a good banker, a very good banker. Let's see what Patrick can do, though. I think spectate. Sorry, go on. Spectate him and watch how he takes the chicane. It'll just be straight line, right over it. I am watching him. Yeah, I'm watching him. Um, pretty tidy, to be fair. Pretty as well, because Patrick messaged me, I think, on Insta. And then Discord. And I, I was chatting to him. And I didn't realise who it was at the time. And then he was like, "What?" I was like, "Are you in a team?" Just, just curious. And he was, he was like, "No, blah blah blah." blah. And then, when he said who he was, and I said, "Okay, well, you can have some like, you know, you have a three race trial for Red Kings to make sure that you're not binning everybody." And he, he won all three of his trial races that he, that he did. I was like, "Yep, yeah, sign you up," because. Red Kings, guys, is not just about the fastest people. It's about uh, having a laugh, but also helping people that are wanting to improve. And that's the key thing, wanting to improve. We're not just going to help people who turn up and say, help me. People who really, like, sort of put the time in. And, how do I fast? Yeah, how do I fast? Turn the wheel. Press the accelerator. Let's see this chicane and the beamer. We could go a little bit quicker, but it's safe. I once got into my face with MySpace confused. <laughs> I tried to invite someone to Instagram. It's, oh my god, man. Disgusting. Hey, break too late for that second chicane, you're in a world of pain trying to recover it. I think that might be my issue. I'm doing a lot. Yeah, I'm breaking early and just like gliding it really tight on that, as much as that right side as I can. Yeah, rather than try and pull it up as yeah. late as you can, you've got to just carry maximum speed for it. Like, yeah. Control. Well, you know, like that exit. I know there's a little right hander after it, but pretty much all up the hill, you're flat. So yeah. you line up that exit nicely. You get on the power early up the hill. You, you know, you're golden. It's the difference between a 28 and a 27 is luck. Yes, yeah, it is. You're, yeah, you're right. Well, the first chicane has its say, but yeah, there's definitely half a second across the two chicanes. Made a little mistake, and he's still gone 28.5. Yep. Yeah. He's on his third lapper now, I believe, so his tyre should be perfect. A bit of oversteer. Mamma mia! Thank you, everybody, for watching, and thank you for 17 likes already, man. Unbelievable support. Appreciate it. I hate the word appreciate, because it's not powerful enough. Oh, well, I love you. Oh, that's too powerful, isn't it? I would got... fillet you if I could. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> what are you willing to do to get to the top, Michael? <laughs> the ones who put in a bit extra, those are the ones who get ahead. I mean, get ahead. <laughs> Clever. Got ACC for PS4 and Black Friday deal. £4. Oh my god. Amazing. Will that be your first time playing it, dude? When I say dude, by the way, guys, he is actually called dude in chat. I'm not, like, just dude him all the time. Dude. I was just thinking of the turtles then. <laughs> Go on, Patrick. This one's invalid. No, I know, like, for this, it'll be, maybe, and on field might be his last one. Beautiful. Oh, you need, oh he's, he's rescued it on the power. And floor it out there. Cut across. Get all the way over the ride. Oh, it's a backseat drive. I know he can't hit it. <laughs> I'm jealous of how he can get into that corner. <laughs> it's weird he goes into fifth. For like that split second. And yeah. Downshift. I just leave it in fourth, to be fair. Now. I didn't take enough of the left, but it was clean at least. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> oh my god, I've been aging since I've seen that. Oh damn. Come on, get all over there with the right, that's it. 
in there. Oh, that might be invalid. This? Close. Yeah, he is. He's invalid. Is he? Yeah. Definitely at that corner as well. He's got enough time for another one, though. First time I see driving game. Full position on the spectrum two plus two. Now I would be like saying I don't know what that is, but I actually do. When I worked for a charity, there was a lot of old uh, consoles that came in, or whatever generation you want to call them. Prehistoric. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, there was a lot of old con older consoles, so I had to learn about them before I sold them to get the right price. Does them things be worth money now? Did any of you have a Nintendo, uh, well, a SNES? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Uh, yeah, my first one was a Master System. Oh wow. So Ryan's must Ryan, you must be like twenty nine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. Are you actually? Yeah, I am. Twenty nine. Yeah. Nice. My first console was a PS1, basically. Yeah. That was my first proper console. I think my parents had a SNES, and that's what I played a little bit of, like Mario and stuff. Yeah, so then PS1. There's Sega. Is it Sega? Yeah. Yeah. I was never a Sega person, or like Sonic the Hedgehog and stuff. Just wasn't about it. Oh, shite, we need to go out. Yep, we do. Sitting here chatting wet. ZX81, Raymond. Nice one. That is a classic. Commodore. Hmm. Big Lebowski. Another great film. Oh, shh. I'm on my race setup, man. So I'll go into park. You're not running uh, just a quality setup and just put fuel in for the race setup. No? Well, it, it, yes it is. Not but, in the Porsche. <laughs> but but the, the quality setup when the fuel's out is, is very... Is it perfect? Oh, at least I've got Anything a Anything like sub an hour, I'll just fucking quality setup and splash the shit out of it. Yeah. yeah. I shouldn't swear, I forgot your stream's PG. Oh, no, no, it's not, it's fine. <laughs> you can swear. I'm not sure why the poll keeps popping up, Ginger. I think it's because maybe votes are coming in. But it's doing it for me as well. That's mad, dude. Alright guys, I'm gonna get my head down here and try uh, beat Chris and Ryan. I used to be really into the games as well, dude, but not anymore. Just a ACC and stuff. <clears throat> right, here we go. Drive fast, yes. Up to. I just want a banker. Something to build upon. Tires aren't quite up yet, so I'm a bit of understeer through there. Uh, too much chicken. Thankfully, it's a short lap. Right, 
right, let's just calm down a bit. <laughs> These tires really need to get into the right window here. Took uh, one, two, three, five laps. Too deep, far too deep. Struggling a lot with understeer at the minute. Yellow flag, yellow flag, be careful there. Yellow flag in sector one. This is another terrible lap. T1 and T3, I believe. And obviously the chicanes are difficult. Car feels much better in the race, so... Ah! Just getting warmed up. Just getting warmed up. I cannot start last. That is the main thing. If I start at the back of this grid, there is absolutely no chance for me, so I just need to get a lap in. That was nice. That was a bit understeery, but still. Little lift mid corner. Keep it within track limits. Right, oh wait, come on. A little bit tentative to this game, but just want to get a lap in. Nearly lost it all there. He won. Come on. Not a big gap to be two. Just touched the grass on the entry. Killed my line. Had to slow down a bit more than I wanted to.
We've got so much time in this lap. We've got at least two tenths. A little bit of a drift. Okay, half a tenth. Terrible exit from the second chicane. We've got a little bit of time on the exit of the last turn. Let's see if we can get it. Nope, because I messed up the entry. Right, last lap. P3 at the minute. Fine margins. Touch the sand. It's okay. That wasn't the ideal chicane. Nope. Fuck me. <laughs> well, that's close, isn't it? Just a bit. Mate, I absolutely fluffed that. Still not too bad though, he's still top 10. Yeah, but I had 27 in the tank. Yeah. Definitely had a 27 in the tank. Chris had no faster sectors, P1. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. It, literally, I've got a tenth and a half in sector one. Good man. I mean, it's two tenths off my best, so I think. Had we done our best, it would have been very similar. <laughs> yeah. At least though, we've got we've got two. We're still up here. Uh, we need to be worried about those Hondas though. We do. Well, it's just a case of like, who does the curse claim first? <laughs> Team Honda, Team Porsche. Uh, pit window and tire change. Right. So, fuel. How much fuel is there, boys? I'm taking 110. Don't know about Chris. There or thereabouts. I'm going to do 112 just for safety because it's going to go too light at the end of the race. Okay. Right, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, Ginger. I mean, it was a good lap. That's fine. Uh, it's annoying when there's pressures. clearly more there. It's got a little bit hot, is not it? So they'll probably stay where they are. Took a few clicks out of mine, but that's from my race setup, so it's a bit different. <clears throat> Extra fuel and stuff. Yeah, I think mine alright. All right, we'll go to the toilet, drain the ladder. Oh, Cass, Cass is P1 Skizetti in your heart. That's rude. Someone ban Skizetti from the chat, please. <laughs> I can't believe how close that was. Well, like 5,000 was not going to happen. And you were 28. Zach Bell was 30. <laughs> Keenan, 73. Oh, disgusting. Such fine margins as well. That's literally like the exit of a corner. When the track's short like that. Yeah. Well, I invalidated my first two laps, so I was shitting my pants a bit. <laughs> I'd have nailed that first sector on that lap, man. Oh, damn it. We 
Yes, 53 seconds until we race. One hour of Zolda. Survive curbs. Chris, if he's on your outside at T1, just run him a little bit wide and I'll sneak up. <laughs> and uh, let's hope Ryan and Patrick don't crash. 30 seconds. Is it going to get hotter, do you think? It's one o'clock, probably not. Not 90 seconds. Hmm. Right, let's do this. And congratulations on Paul, Chris. That's a point, isn't it? Maybe. Is I'm it faster, sure. is it faster oh, slap or is it Paul? I can't remember. I mean, a point for faster slap and Paul seems point. to unbalance things quite a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, where are you? Right, 47 brake balance. Must remember that. And for anybody watching, I turned down the graphic settings just now because I was getting a little bit of like lagginess through some of the corners. So if it looks a little bit shiter, I'm sorry. Vroom, vroom. Here he is. <laughs> if I can't start, I might as well at least say hello. <laughs> well, you'll hopefully be there at the end with us. Us three. Mind the carnage. Yeah, and just think when you pit early, if you were going to pit early here for a big un undercut, you're probably going to still come out with people. Yeah. So actually going longer might work. Depends though. Is it a pit window or...? Yeah, yeah. Window. Is it 40 minutes to 20 minutes, Chris? Yeah, some I believe. Like just punch them up for me. <laughs> Well, I said to Chris earlier, disclaimer, I've only done two races here ever, and they were both on PS5. So, oh, wow. yeah, I've not raced here on PC, like, properly. Good luck. <laughs> it's carnage first lap. Yeah, I mean, the chicanes, isn't it? Just got to survive them. What are you doing for the first few laps, Chris? Are you eating the chicanes or are you going to avoid? I'm going to have to eat them or else that Honda's just going to take me. Yeah. I always pit early if it doesn't work out. And try a different approach. Yeah, true. Now, but good luck, man. You got this. You too, boys. In for you, Ryan. Go forward. Confident you can. Don't worry, boys. Give me a couple of laps. I'll be right up your chuff. <laughs> right, everybody in chat. Let's do this. I am nervous. The Zolda. First race on PC I've ever been here before. Great balance engine map. Yep. Great balance. It. 62. Engine map 8. I'm just telling you to, to think it. Get it sorted. Not too bad, we did get we got turned in on there, spun a bit. Yeah, I got mightily turned in on T one. Same. 
I know what you did as well, Chris. E3. Fucking Keenan. I'll be having words about that. <laughs> Yellow flag is active. Zap Dow. Car on the left. Clear on the left. That's me done, boys. Minute and 15 of damage. Oh. You should give you that position back. Car on the right. Clear on the right. That shift from Zachdell, let's send it there. You moved out of the way and he's still taking mm -hmm. out the position. Press one <laughs> Yeah, head down to exactly. Not the worst. Hopefully the handles die. Ah, this is what it is, guys. It's not the worst. We can still build on this position. One down. Yep, GG. Gee, watch out for track limits as well. We've already picked up one stupidly. Just trying to keep up with these guys ahead and they're just flying away. Left side pressures are very high. But it goes to show, the cane can kill you at any moment. Uh, peak, you know. I'll run my wheel on peak. This is a bit like the game. I'm trying to kill it anymore. Yeah, I think that speaks volumes. I can definitely go a bit quicker here, but I don't want to get too close to Chris ahead. I want him to relax and focus on the guys ahead of him.
still quite confused about T1. Like, I was a little bit wide, but it's to be expected. The car on the outside just literally turned in and just knocked my front end. I'm being dropped by the guys ahead. <clears throat> I'm just really worried about track limits. I just don't want to pick any up. Sorry for everybody in chat if I'm not replying. I will try and reply in a sec. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. I'm here all night. <laughs> good. Wait, that wasn't a cut. That wasn't a cut. It wasn't a cut. Thank God. I'm losing a lot through the second chicane, I feel. GG, boys. I'm going to get off. This. No worries, Ryan. I'm sorry about your bad luck. That's all right. No worries. Bye. See you later, man. Okay, consistent, at least. Consistent. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do drop a like. Ah, I was a bit slow through there. And a little bit leery on exit. being really safe through the second chicane for track warnings. People ahead will definitely get a drive through. I am convinced. Sometimes it's worth just driving at about 90%, 95%. Let those guys ahead push hard, fight each other, kill the tyres, get drive, track limits, and we capitalise, we pounce. I'm dropping, I'm pulling away from the Patrick behind, which is good. I'm in a nice little gap, doing my own thing. Haven't been sent to the Shadow Realm yet. I want to drive through a Burger King drive through. Oh, don't tease me like that when I'm racing. Coming up to a back marker.
And you, Robster. Right. Right. Good pressure, Chris. I'm trying my best. This is hard, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Keep this Porsche in a straight line <laughs> around here. Thank you, dude. Yeah, man. Anybody in chat, if you don't mind, dropping a like if you haven't already. Oh, that was awful. Awful. Me too. Two wheels up. I know, I know. I know a lot of you guys watching already have dropped a like and are you know, all good. Only hit like if you like it. Still in touch with Chris. And remember, Chris is my main championship rival. Another back marker up ahead. Oof, that was close. <laughs> I like that dude. Chris ahead is the king of irony. But yeah, you're challenging that uh, title. I know where he's going to get you. Porsche is in, but it's fun. It's a good car. It's fun to drive. Very rewarding when you nail it. The thing is, guys, I can definitely go quicker, but I'm just so scared of track warnings. And Lily, that's only at T1. We're not miles behind. Massive oversteer. Thank you, Pritch. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Yes, I agree, Ginger. It's a very thin line. Especially when there's so much time to be had uh, running the line. Once I do my pit stop and sort these left side tyres out, it should be a bit quicker.
Nice. Another position. Are thieves better this game? Explain the logic. Well, I need to took off into space that time. That's going to be a track up. No? Okay. Happy days. I'm just a bit cautious of this uh, back marker behind. I mean, he's very good on the brakes. Give him credit. <laughs> okay, that logic makes sense. Maybe. Maybe I need to thieve some more cars in real life then, and I can get a bit faster. Starting to get oversteer in the middle of that corner. Really badly. I think it was just the back marker. Thank you, Paul. Mop it. All your hard work undone? Pretty much. Yeah, it's getting that point in it. Me and Chris struggling with the same issues, guys. Oh, it goes light through with that right hander in sector one. All tensile up, yeah, I mean, I need to find a lot of time. But that time that I am leaving on the table means I'm not running the risk of track limits. And to be fair, when I'm fighting Chris in the championship, he's the only car that I care about, really. Leader's only five seconds ahead. That's a mistake. That's one mistake, and we're on him. Plenty of time left. Lots can happen. That's the right hander that's going to kill me eventually. Time for a brave pill. That might be a warning. No, we're good.
It should have been a warning, but that just goes to show how much I'm leaving on the, the table, how much deeper and stuff I could go into some some corners. Especially the chicken. The second one. Oh my god, what's this? Targeting it on the apex as a back marker. Blues. Honestly. Lead is still in sight, we've still got this. Mm -hmm. I'm go, go, go. Yep, yeah, overcut. I'm gonna box as soon as we get to some back markers. Let's hope Chris doesn't die ahead of us to slow us down. This is intense, guys. This is a good race. I'm enjoying this. What are you doing? Thinking next lap. Okay, I'm gonna box this lap. Right, box, box, do this. Need a good one here, need a good one. Thank you for watching everybody. 34 minutes left. Why was it 31 seconds? Head stock, 31 seconds. I turned my damage off. God damn it. Stop time is absolutely fucked. That was crucial to get away with that back marker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I turned my damage off. Hit stop still said 31 seconds, and then at 4 seconds it crashed, and 2 seconds it crashed, and it was back at 0 on it, but I was already on the floor. Shite.
We didn't gain on the leader. Oh, the chair is in. Shit. <laughs> He must have just missed uh, made the race. Advantage be taken with those back markers, yeah. Nobody messed up. How many track cuts you got? Sorry. Yeah. Might be one for me. Nil nil. Okay, shite. Is this that was Larry? Sorry for not talking guys, my teammate ahead. I don't want to punt them. Do you mind giving me an opinion about the Black Shaw V2 Pro? Really good. Uh, very comfortable. I wear them for a long time. Uh, the ear cups you can take off and give them a wash, which is good. The sounds perfect. Uh, the software on PC is really good as well. You use them on PC. Highly recommend. Sorry for getting close at the last turn there. <laughs> Was close at the inside curb started to rotate us towards the wall. I haven't been able to send it down the chicane yet, Ian. <laughs> it's going to be anybody, it'll be my teammate, so I don't think I will. Just took a bit too much of that curb there.
We're still good for track limits. 27 minutes left. No worry, Alan. Elon. A little bit deep. Okay. Thank you for the sub as well, Elon. Alon. Tell me if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Appreciate it, dude. Too fast in the T1. And that's just overheating my tyre slightly. But first, then my left tyre is overheating. Now it's my right. Second try for a scratch. Brilliant. Thank you, Elon. Hopefully Zachdal catches Keenan. Mm -hmm. Yep. So currently net P4, guys. Seminar is dead. On the life. <laughs> Scrub those tires at T1. Yeah, man. That's not good. It's just added a bit more, a bit too much PSI by scrubbing. So, our right side now is too high. We need, we need the top two guys to have a fight. That looked very in to be. <laughs> a little bit less risky over the chicken there. But a massive gap behind. We just need to keep it on track. Focus on these guys ahead. Oh my god. We got a back marker up ahead. You can't change the ear cushions. You can wash, you can take them off and give them a wash. So you can take them off uh, and wash them. Obviously, keep them fresh. It's mine smell. <laughs> my ear cups smell. Is there really such a thing? Yeah, man. In ACC, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mihai. was a necessary cut, but we didn't get a limit. Good. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Be careful there. Car on the left. Are you on the left? Car on the left. Are you on the left? Car on the left. 
you haven't just been killed there, have you? Yep. Fuck's sake. This is how it goes, guys. Just you can get lucky and avoid stuff. Like, if I wanted to race with fucking hands, I'd go and join an hand championship and stomp them. I don't. He's right. You're so lucky, mate. Just keep that P4, you'll be all good. Won't be able to guard this behind me. Keenan lost the lead. really unfortunate for Chris. Navigating trouble guys, honestly. 50% of racing. Keenan's going to be furious about losing the lead. He's going to send it the first opportunity he gets on Zakdal. And Zakdal's Got large shoulders. Likes to get his elbows out. Chris unfortunately dropping back with, I assume, quite a bit of damage on the front and rear of his car. Which is going to make it really bad to drive in this final stage. Guys ahead doing 28s. I can get into those 28s if I just concentrate. I'm on straight away. I'll tell you to buy ACC. It's the best game at simulating GT3 racing. If you're interested in any other cars, such as uh, NASCAR, open wheel cars, Formula cars, uh, LM LMP2s, iRacing would be the best way to go. It depends what the what cars you're interested in. But well, ACC does the best GT4s, GT3s uh, around by far. The physics are great, graphics are great, and it's a lot cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. What's I racing? You sound like me, Ginger. Why break into T1 like that? Just let me pass on the straight. No worries, Armand. AC, yeah, a set of course, the original, and a set of course, competition only. Great games. Thank you for watching everybody. Let's hope these guys ahead crash and we can steal P1. Car's feeling very lively now the fuel's out. Front end skipping around, rear end sliding. Got some more back markers to navigate. You've seen how quickly things changed, guys. Chris was in a really good position and immediately got hit by... Well, he's involved in two incidents with backmarkers.
little bit of a slow exit, but it's okay. There you go, guys. You can see the leeriness. Thank you, Ryan. Guys ahead are very close. on these guys slightly if I can just hook up some laps you can fuck right off with that when did you cause a collision well we'll see oh, man, I'm gonna be raging after this <laughs> Just going for the ban. Do it. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Please don't hit me in the dish cane. Sorry, guys, I really I can't look up to read the chat. I'm just so concentrating. One overcut south gate. Thank you, Ginger, for helping in the chat. Appreciate that, mate. Legend. Legend! At least you don't have to do a pit stop and serve any penalty. Oh, shocking. Had a good T1 as well. Got a few more laps of that uh, corner where it's difficult to uh, get the nose in. You need to reduce Rito's comment about Jardy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, well, sorry. These guys are fighting. I don't need to chuck race the night, anyone know games and I want it. <laughs> the kid from the movie, oh! oh that is a violation. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I need to concentrate, but that's hilarious. Yes, again, plenty of time. These guys are here looking feisty. I can sense a move from Keenan. I just need to do my thing and not get carried away with getting uh, catching up to them. Because they are coming up the back mark, as that will change the complexity of this. Back mark has played a part on the white piece of the road! Clear on the left. 
he was not wanting to give that up. We both went deep. Let's give me a gap. Come on. Oh my god, come on car. Don't do that to me now. Alex ahead, uh, Zach Dahl that is, isn't taking that chicken properly, so he must be on three warnings. Marcus playing the part. Let's go, Michael. Yeah, let's go. I need to do it cleanly. Guy behind's got 15 second penalty. You must give me a start time through 24 hour basically on a Cisco yet. Yeah, so I'll be going live at 11.30 and the race starts at 12. Now the Honda just pulls up the hill. Stay bigger than Mary, yeah, definitely. That was not a very good exit.
Come on, car! It's gonna get us eventually. I'll be a track cut. No, no time gained. Looks like Alex ahead is struggling with tires. <laughs> no idea, dude. Newcastle. There you go. That's what you need to be. Sheffield scars. There's a car in stick with lane. I'm going to lose time through that corner. It just is what it is. It's just about keeping it stable. Let's hope the guy behind doesn't try to fight us. Another back marker up ahead. Come on, thank you for watching everybody. Please smash the like button and consider subscribing. Come on, car. Thank you, Paul. Paul oh, Walsh, we're going past. Excellent commentator. Yep, slow through there, but it is what it is. Switch back to T2. Come on! Come on! Two laps.
The guy behind is the one with the 15 second penalty as well. So unless he kills us, or I kill someone else and get a penalty, we should be good. Oh, thank you everybody, come on. Still got one lap left. Thank you, Briar. Car left. Clear on the left. Brian, you've just started the final lap of the race as leader. Bring it home. Make sure to stick around, guys. We're going to have a look at the replays, see what happened with Chris. Yeah, you fuck off, oversteer. <laughs> I've got your number. Right, one more time through the chicane. I'm going to take it safe. Come on. Last few turns. Thank God I overfueled, because that has helped keep that car stable. Oh! Let's go! <laughs> that goes to show you don't have to be the fastest on track. Manage the tyres. Manage the situation. And make some decent overtakes, if I may say so. Thank God, man. Cheers, guys. Oh, God. That was difficult, man. That last stint. BG to Alex. Uh, Zach Dahl and Keen in there, they were rabid. I think they've had a bit of a nightmare with back markers. And I've blown a tyre out. <laughs> oh, let's have a look at the replay, guys. I can't believe I've won that. That is crazy. You still there, Chris? Mm hmm. What happened? I just crashed. Where are you? My, my car was ruined. I. Like the front was completely fucked. You didn't and finish. I ended up going off track, and then I got hit. It's not more. You're not finish. Oh, you did 27. I've, I've finished, but for what it's worth. 27 on track. You're probably going to be like P12, you know, something like that in the in the standings for pros. It's not, it's not the point, though, is it? That was. I've not seen a display of driving that bad since I used to play on public lobbies in it, fucking rockies. This is what I say. The mixing of the two classes is bad for everybody involved. It's bad for the pro guys and it's bad for the am guys that have incidents. And they feel shit if they ruin someone else's race. As well as, you know, if they've got binned themselves. It's not nice. It's not a nice feeling. But, you know, almighty Sayer James uh, and the guys at FRL believe better. Um, we just have to deal with whatever shit they throw at us. <laughs> and Nishira actually raced and finished 8th. So my win... It's probably going to tie me on points with him now. <laughs> I wish he didn't turn up, but I'm glad he did. It makes it more interesting. No donut, please. <laughs> Ian, I've seen that. <laughs> you ass hat. Love it. Thank you, Keno. Thank you, everybody, mate. Oh, that was, oh, was good. Let's have a look at the replay. I'll just save it real quick. Uh, let's have a look what happened to Chris. Because I was behind you, and I, and I noticed there was a collision ahead. And I was thinking to myself, you're good because you can see it happening. And then all of a sudden it looked like you oh, No, I was completely unsighted. There really? Was, suddenly there was a car and there was no... I was coming over the crest, wasn't I? And I just... I was dipped oh. in behind a BMW or something. And all of a sudden there was a car. Ah, okay, fair. So yeah, I saw it all unfolding. I thought you'd seen it as well. I should put oh. you first to the standards. Yeah, Aaron, I think it might just buy a point or something. Only missed you, man. Oh. Yeah, Aaron, uh, Alan, I've seen it. I've seen are you set to polite speech on here? I'm not sure, dude. Um, in fact, you're probably just going to have to tell me what that means. Does that mean, like, no swearing? Because I don't think so. I don't think I've got it set to 
you know, mute bad language. Me and Nashira are tired on points. Yeah, I expected as much with him turning up, but it's good for him to have got in the race. Even if he started from the back, which I believe he did. Uh, yeah, he did. He started at the back. So credit to him, man. He's got himself up there. He's kept the title fight alive for himself by at least being here uh, and getting going. So let's have a look at T1. I went a bit deep because I was understeering. And I think Zakdal just turned and knocked me. Not even sort of stuff gets through. Yeah, I'm not, I'll, not straight, I'll have a look, dude, and see what I can do. See, I'm fully on the brakes by the time that BMW comes into view. There's nowhere I can go. Yeah, yeah. It's, just... Especially with the, with the way our car reacts as well. So if you look at T1... I have went wide. I've, I've not done it deliberately. It's because, first of all, I've broke a little bit later than Chris, so I don't want to hit the back of him. I don't want to slow down too much. Then by the time I've got it under control, Alex is turning in, thinking that I'm going to continue turning, but I just had really bad understeer. And Ryan was hit from behind. From <laughs> Ryan was hit by Patrick. <laughs> God damn it. And he's just an absolute passenger there. Uh, there's an Aston around. Number eight. Oswell. I'd like to think that I didn't cause that to T1. It was just me and Alex coming together. It wasn't like a deliberate thing. What's happened to Oswell? Oh, the Audi. That's so unfortunate. Whoa, that's it. I hit him. That's interesting. I mean, there's absolutely nothing I could do about it. And I didn't get a penalty in the race. Because I think the stewards can see that I'm, I, there's nothing I can do. Oh, I'm so sorry to Rich. I feel so bad. Oh. Yeah. That's, I'd say it's my bad, but I just can't. I can't do it. Julie! <laughs> You've got PTSD in. And for anybody watching, Julie is a guy who races in the rookie class that always seems to hit L Sport Racing in races. It is a talent. Right, what lap did Chris die? You might as well just roll the dice at this point. You'll probably get a lap where I died on. Yeah. Well, there's a very long lap here coming up, so I'm going to watch this one. Oh, it wasn't this one. Okay. Wait, what? No, I'm ahead of you now. It's not this one. You want lap 27. That's where the ultimate death happens. The ultimate death of 27. Okay. I want to see the first yeah. one. That's all. That'll be your lap. 25. Yeah. See, the Aston's there, and then there's a the BMW. I'm on the brakes, and... What can I do? Thank you for watching, everybody. Appreciate it, guys. It's all I can see from my point of view is a little bit of smoke. I don't. Oh, I, sh I, can't, I cannot see that BMW until I, I'm fully on the floor. I had no idea there was ass. I had no idea there was an Aston ahead of you. Mm -hmm. So I know you raced bonnet cam, so that's a very small view on the Porsche. I assume you might have changed it. Oh, yeah, you can't. You're so unsighted. I want to see how they got into that position. Uh, it looked like the Audi of her board. Oh, yeah, and then as you go overtake me at the chicane, I get hit by that back. Yeah, that's yeah, so when you I get mean, He's apologised, but <laughs> my championship's fucked now, so it means nothing. You never know, mate. It, you know, there's death Death can happen, and you've seen it now. If, if they're going to keep mixing, mixing. Yeah, it only ever happens to me. So for me, this is bad awareness from this Audi. That The... the, the the BMW of Chris is, is clearly there. Chris is clearly alongside, and the Audi just keeps turning across. Who's who's had the accident? It was Gedman who he hit, by the way, as well. Chris Gedman. Like in the chicane. Because he was fully stopped holding the brakes. Just unfortunate. Oh, Chris, but hey, we're passing him at some point. Yeah. <laughs> um. He's, he's just... He's just held the brakes at the chicane. I mean, this is this is from my point of view. I seen you fly up in the air, and I was like, "What?" 
I must be cautious of this Aston. And you got all squirrely because you had damage. It was it was over at that point. And by the time I hit and it was like what a two minute fifty bit spot and it got stopped all thirty. Oh no. Who is the Aston? It, it didn't matter. Who is the Who's Aston? The Aston? Right. What has he done there? You know what? I think he's actually hit the brakes at the right time, but because you were braking slightly earlier, let me through. I think you did brake slightly earlier, let me through, didn't you? It did seem like it at the time. Only a bit, but he's launched it from some distance. Yeah, back, he's. So he's yeah. And it wasn't. That was this drop in the ocean. My race was over, so. Uh, really not Ryan, he sat on the brakes because. FRL has this rule that if you're in an incident, you just sit on the brakes. Like, don't move. Which I, again, sometimes I agree with, sometimes I don't. Like, for me there, just accelerate off onto the grass a bit, you know what I mean? Get out of the way. But he can't predict like, what the guys behind are going to do. You know, in that position, he might think they're going to go on the inside, they're going to go on the outside. Chris couldn't go anywhere with that. Absolutely no chance of, of, of rescuing Oh. You know what it is as well, if you had turned in a bit earlier for the corner, you would have missed it. But you don't, you didn't know you had to. Uh, and then you died on lap 27. I agree, Ryan. There's a bit of, you know, just accelerate off the track if you've been in the incident, but get off the race and line kind of thing, but it happens. Yeah, I agree, dude. I don't think... There was a bit of a late turn in. So did you repair? You didn't repair your damage, did you? You just obviously kept continued. Was the car knackered? Oh no, it was 100%. I couldn't. Like the tire was scraping across the floor. I had no choice but to repair it. So you had most of the damage at the front, so you would have had it, a bit of understeer. No, it was it was completely broken by the time I'd come into pit. Does like, that? It was slightly drivable at the point where Daza I don't know your surname I'm assuming it's right yeah oh that, so Daza killed you <laughs> Daza yeah, like, he has apologies like I say it weren't great but my race was over at that point anyway, yeah so it really doesn't matter to be fair Daza I did just say to Chris it looked like you broke at the right point but Chris had broke a little bit early to let me through so it's just one of those unfortunate things um I don't know I, I, Chris knows that I'll make excuses for everybody all day long. Chris is more cynical than I am. <laughs> right. Did you get killed again or did you lose it yourself? I lost it and then I got killed. Right, okay. But I just, I just understeered because the front was so red. Oh, shite. Oh, you can't save it, can you? Ah! Oh! Oh, was it Dazza that hit you as well? That ruined him. It was. Oh. Karma. No, I'm joking. It's not karma. That's just unfortunate for both of you. You've both had an absolute horrid few laps. I don't even know where to start now because there's so many tickets I want to submit for Blue Fags and for Zachdal and for Keenan. Yeah, I'm going to have a look at Keenan and Zachdal on the first lap from your perspective. When does the but new season Keenan's season's one is fucking cheeky. I would not do that, but it, the only reason you survived that is because I backed out of it. Yeah. New season, I'm not sure, uh, uh, Ryan. It'll probably be beginning of next year. Uh, I'd imagine like mid January. Break the exact same place. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, does it? It looked like you did break this, like literally at 100, which is perfect. It's, I think it was because you were, you were trying to just move out the way slightly because you realised that you might hit the back of Chris. And obviously, as you start turning and you're on full brakes, you lose a bit of braking power. Right, so look, sorry, I wasn't watching that. Which one is this, Chris? Lap 1, T2 or something? Lap 1 going up to the first chicane, that's Keenan. And then lap oh, yeah, yeah, Keenan. Um, Zach Dow, which you saw. 
Yeah, mate. Uh... I'm reporting it because it's just, it's reckless, is what it is. It's dangerous. The thing is, right, you, you are right when you're driving it at the time. But when you look at it in a replay, it looks like it looks like good driving, but that's because you made it look like good driving. It, it, exactly. You know? if I'd, I, I could have just held my line. We are 110% coming together there. And then the whole field's getting wiped out. But because I move, yeah. he gets to keep the position, so yeah. that's why I'm reporting. No, I know, Dazza. 100%, mate. No. And Chris, Chris has no hard feelings with it, so... And for me, it's just... Just racing. It's one of those really bad, unfortunate things that can happen. Uh, well, I was annoyed at... I'm sure I was annoyed at Alex for some reason or another. Oh, I wasn't... Yeah, the last chicane Alex on you. That's what it was. Wow, he's miles back as well. He's missed his braking, hasn't he? That's such good driving from you. I can't believe he's kept the position ahead of you. And, and I get I get punished for it. And it should have been him in that accident because he should have still been behind me. Oh. He should have yeah, he should have given you that position. I gave you a bump draft to try and give you a bit of speed as well. Yeah. I was furious, I was flashing, and you weren't. You were just on with it. I was, I was oh, flashing. No, I was flashing. We were both flashing. Oh, were we? Okay. I don't think he got the hint. Nah, he's got to give you that position back. Like, that's... that's No. Is your on screen, screen chat set to live chat? Because I'm getting more on my chat than us showing on your stream chat. Ah, oh, no, it's not. Thank you, dude. Oh, my God, man. Sorry if I've missed anybody's message. Yeah, I've uh, not had it set to the right. Uh, live chat there. Apologies. I agree, dude. Chris was consistently faster than me throughout that race. Chris, you could have won that race. Like, in fact, I, you should have. I genuinely think I should have been on the podium at least. But because of... Because I, no, I need to look at that one, don't I? Because I'm sure Garby was a bit rough as well. I'm really, uh, I, I'm, I'm shocked that Alex hasn't let you keep the position there. If I was you, Chris, I know you didn't know it at the time because you think he's there and what's he going to do? I would have just stuck it up the inside for the last corner and just, you know, sent it. But you would have then had me coming mm. round you well, on the exit. Because then I, yeah, then I have an issue. Because if I hit him, you know it'll just be, I'll get slapped with it. You've done the right thing there, backing out into the last corner. See, look, if you look at all of that one, Garby hits me and then keeps the position. Keenan does what he does, and Zach Dow does what he does. Oh, it was Garby at the start? Okay, I didn't realise yeah. it was Garby. It's like he just, he floors it and just pushes me wide. I was loving that race, was running genuine P22 from the seven. Oh my God, that's, it's painful when you get in an incident that's just, yeah, like Chris being across the track. By no fault of yours, you've obviously smashed into women, race ruin for both of you. But Chris was only in that position because of. <laughs> well, we know why. Chris did look the fastest on the track. People are saying that you look the fastest on the track. I agree, hundred percent. He got Chris got like not in the sense that I think it's a bad thing, but Chris got bullied in in a, in a a bit of a too aggressive a manner for lap one for me. By a couple of drivers which naturally if you bully into one corner you lose exit speed and then you've got other cars trying to get past you and bullying the way through all the rate all races are going to be similar in mindset but i expect better from these guys because they are so quick they didn't need to be like that also um god we starts ahead of you on the start <laughs> he's, he's either very he's level or he's ahead of you Nah, it's a, he, he, he done a very good start. I'll give him credit for that. He did take a very wide line in there. Yeah, it's called giving space, which he hasn't done. Uh, he, was, he was off roll trying not to hit you, to be fair, on T2. 
and then you send it on the inside of T3. He does leave the space. If he does. So I'm like only at the point that he's hit me. That's all I'm bothered about. Are you sure you talk, we're talking about the right thing? God be. Yeah, it's like turn two. I'm, I'm way ahead, and he comes out of nowhere and just hits me. And then obviously he's on the inside then, and I can't. See, to me, you've got a little bit of oversteer, but I don't know if that's because you're trying to rotate the car like that. I, I, I think, honestly, Chris, I think he's given you really nice racing room. He's broke early into the corner and carried it. Has he fucked? He has. He's died? I said dive bomb. No, if you watch, right, he's on the brakes fully. He lets you go ahead because he's taking a very narrow apex and he wants to take the, the exit out, but he, he lifts a lot. He, he comes right off the throttle to give you the space. He's fully off and still he's dabbing the brakes. Yeah, I can't, I, that would be clutching for me, Chris, if you were to do anything about that. That would be clutching. Well, it, it really doesn't matter because he crashed out anyway. Yeah. So that's fine. Yeah, I know. I would honestly say if that if I had made a start like that, I'd be really happy with it. If that if I was, I'd be here. I can see why you feel a bit aggrieved on the on the T two thing because he just he just runs a little bit deep, but there's enough space there, um, and I think you get a tiny snap of oversteer. Different lines, Ryan. Uh, let's have a look. Position games like that you'll be seeing the top five. I agree, dude. Incredible positions games from Zaza. Who chief said we can't mend that? Your tears over. Oh god. Horse drivers, give it to bully them, it's a huge arse thing. Yeah. Aaron thinks the same as a little bit of oversteer and God we gave the room. And then Ginger thinks it's still a bit of an aggressive move. Yeah, it is, but there's enough space. We can all be aggressive. I I, I do undone aggressiveness on like t2 like i just think it's dumb just get through in in line race the rest of the race you know what i mean you've got you've got an right, hour if you hit someone and that's led to the overtake you give the position back that's sportsmanship yeah i think it's the accelerate he's done into the corner if he just had a coaster on the apex essentially he would have came out the corner with a bit more speed than you and you probably would have just been side by side at the next one if i'm honest Staying ahead. I don't know. I don't know. For me, it looks it looks on the next corner that he's kind of giving you the room there and thinking, okay, make the move. You know, I've run you I've I've just run you a bit deep on the last one. But then you've kind of backed off because you're thinking, well he's being aggressive, I don't want to be put my nose in. Well backed off because I'm not an idiot and I don't want to crash into people, but apparently that's the way you're supposed to do it. So fuck it. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. And then Keenan's on the inside. Yeah, he's. I'm, I'm just, just going to wipe them all out, and then I'll just outrun them with the and outrun the penalty. Fuck all of them. I've always thought that was a good tactic. Just punt into T1 and just run away and get like a thirty second, thirty second gap. Uh, gonna share today's discovery. A shotty. Yeah, it's good in it. In hot chocolate with a spl splash of rum. And six. You have got those winter vibes, dude. And then Chris dive bomb in third. Chris dive bomb in third. I don't remember Chris dive bomb in third. Oh, you mean T3. I know what you mean. I don't think it was a dive, T3. Hey? Oh, I'm so on like what? Yeah, I don't I'd, I I would disagree. I think he's later on the brakes. He's got into the apex. And yeah, Godby's given the room. It's not a dive. It, it would be a dive if Chris had a Ran. I'll run it in slow motion. The difference is, I I backed out. Of you, it. you backed out. This is what I'm saying. So if Chris had have been here now and still been flying and missed this apex, even though God was given the room, that would have been a dive. Uh, lap one for me. Yeah, I have seen Ryan. I've watched it. I'll have a, I'll have another look for the, uh, to show you on stream. So unlucky. The, the annoying thing is, Chris, as well. You did get hit by Patrick. And I was saying... When was that? Uh, T1. But it, it's nothing Patrick can do because of the, the instance ahead. Essentially that I caused. <laughs> when, when was that? Lap 1, T1. 
when Ryan died. But Ryan, Ryan was being cautious of the, the incidents because of Constantine at all. You're talking to Ryan, not me, aren't you? I'm talking to you, Chris, because you're saying when was that. But yes, I'm talking about Ryan. Right, but you said me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My bad. We sound nothing alike. What is it with you and Dave? That's not that you sound alike. It's just I'm, I'm, I'm talking to like 600 people at the minute. No. Yeah, so Ryan's getting out of the throttle here to avoid the carnage and just gets tapped. Uh, and, and then, I believe... Please don't say you get hit by people rejoining. Why did you box for? Did you crash? I thought you could have continued. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my god! Ryan! Ryan! This... Jedi moment! What the f... What the hell? Full speed. That was epic. I'm not sure why you picked Ryan personally. I would have kept going. Oh, go back. Okay. Was the more? Did I miss something? I've clearly missed something, haven't I? Right. Okay. Chicken. Let me just read the chat a second. Good night. Does it? Ah, oh, does I know hard feelings, man, Chris? It's fine. Yeah, keep up the gains. I agree. Thank you, Benson. Chris got the penalty on lap twenty-five for ignoring yellow flags. I, I'm actually looking at it in the replay now, and that yellow doesn't come out until I am on the. Um... You know the rubber bit for braking. Yep. So you're on the brakes. Yeah. Ryan, was it? Oh, okay. That's why you've picked. Ah, man. So that would have been standard Honda things slash the little bit of damage that you've gained at the top at the start, and your tyres being a bit done from the uh, slow spin. Sunday my birthday. Oh. Nice. Yeah, Ryan, no, fair enough then. I see why you've boxed. So, oh, you got a penalty for. You're telling me you got a penalty for. Ignoring. For the incident that I got my, my race ended. The one where Chris is. The one where you hit the back of Chris, yeah? Mm-hmm. That to me is stupid. Like I'm not you know, I don't wanna say things that are out of the ordinary, but like that's like proper looking after FRL guys to me, because you know, Chris is the one holding the brakes, which I don't think he should. I think he should accelerate off the track. I can't I don't know how to see yellow flags in a replay. It's all green for me. Well, to me, it's blue. It is blue for me. It's blue, blue, then green after the chicane. There's not enough people holding flags. Uh, it's... I don't know who Andy Dawson is. Who is Andy Dawson? I'm going to Google it. Footballer. At Hull. <laughs> I'm not from Hull. Oh, dude's being sobby. Yeah, death. Um, ah. Feel bad for T1. But if you look at my inputs here, I am trying to steer. I'm just understeering like crazy. Yeah, just as I start to wind it, wind a bit more steering input on. Just unfortunate, means Zach Dell. 
Right. Let's not look at the negativity now, guys. Let's have a look at some of the uptakes. Um, because I am quite proud of, you know, one or two. The one on Keenan was pretty good on the brakes. And then I think I don't I think the switchback on Zakda was pretty good also. If I may toot my own horn. <laughs> Sorry, Chris, by the way, I know you've had a painful one. It's fine, I'm just I really don't know where to start, so I'm getting all these tickets. Right, so I'm already ahead there. I'm not too, if Chris, have you have you got my stream open or not? Or the replay? New lap record at Zolder. For who? Me. Nice. GG, man. What the fuck? Oh, no, he's from Newcastle. Okay. Iverson's greatest. I mean, if I can be anywhere near a great of a racing game, I'll be happy. Iverson is banned here. Dude, I'm not sure what's on with the chat then. I'll have to look at the settings. Uh... To make it a bit less uh strict this is definitely not set to, uh, like kids and stuff i think hopefully one lfm waste account yeah it counts do love my money as well right let's have a look at this are you watching chris I'm just going to mute so I can get these tickets started because I'm going to be here all fucking night. Then. Yeah, no worries. And if I start recording, they'll just record. I, I'll, I'll mute myself. It's all right. I'll just, you just carry on. Oh, my God. I think Keenan got a penalty for that. That's a bit. That could have ruined Alex's race. I like see. Th there's a reason why I was so much faster than Alex. He had he had damage from that. Then I just just get my nose in here so he can't turn in. He has to give us the room, and then he wants to, you know, do Honda things. I don't know if I squeezed him. To be fair, I might have squeezed him. No, he just wants to. Yeah, okay. I don't know what you guys think of that one. Just, yeah. Just turns across. I don't know. The thing is, I don't know if it's damage or, or the way the Honda handles, but I just watch the steering input if you can see it in the bottom right, this little dot. I give, I'll give Keenan the benefit of the doubt because it's a difficult car to drive the Honda. He's just, go, uh, he's, just, he's just going in a straight line. He's just going in a straight line. I think it's just the line that he wanted to take, but I was clearly still there. That was a good move, though. That was, that was, honestly, one of the better moves that I've done under break, and I'm pretty happy with that. Hit the apex enough to call it not a dive bomb. Has a YouTube channel the same name as streams really, but it's worth sub. Yeah, no worries. Oh god, that was close. If I actually had hit my brakes in the right place and didn't go deep, that's death for me. Right, let's have a look at the one on Alex. I think it was this one. The old up and under and don't waste your time nah man if you stream now and then if anybody wants to watch a stream now and then of Benson get subscribed look at this though outside just get enough of the apex and cut under cut oh textbook awesome narrow open the corner up couldn't see my apex but got on it and Alex is a you know, he gave loads of space, he was carrying damage. He was carrying damage, so you know, he's, he's, he's probably really struggling with the car at this point. But we still take it. We still take it.
Yeah, Alex here. Have a look. Awesome narrow. Go wide. He nails the apex to be fair. He's taking a good line. I just got a better run. I'm looking forward to watching the comms. <laughs> Hopefully they caught that one. Ah, I'm happy with that. That was good. And it goes to show, guys, I was running P5 for a lot of the race. You know, if we go back down to... Go down to here. Actually, even... Before Godby died, really, I was... P6 and I, I didn't look like I was going to go forward. But... I just wasn't killing my tyres and not taking too many risks on the chicanes. And, uh, yeah. Managed to avoid some of the carnage that collected some of our teammates. Where did Patrick finish? Patrick finished... Oh, I'm going to see. Race end. E2 in class for Patrick. Another Red Kings driver. Amazing. Yes, Benson. I am a fan. I'm not as much of a metalhead as what I used to be. I kind of listen to a more varied range of stuff, but now and then I can't just I can't help but whack on my light songs on Spotify, which is pretty much all metal, apart from a few of those. Uh, it's Chris. Oh my god, look how long Chris was in there. Why did Chris pit twice? I'm so confused by that. Can we change these tyres? I'm not sure. Chris pit twice in a row there. I'm... Oh, you got to stop go. You got to stop go. Okay. Yeah, I was being stupid. Yeah, Chris got to stop go for going too fast into the pit lane, which is. Yep, really, he's far too fast into the pit. <laughs> he tried to slow down as well, but it's not worked. I look like the metal kind. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we only listen to metal flashing off the walls, the sound of the metal of the air uh, Porsche. Aaron's got it absolutely spot on. I do think about racing sometimes with music, but I think it'd be like with concentrating on the stream as well. It'd probably be far too hard to concentrate. I've got a lot of reliant, I'm very reliant on the audio of the car, like the revs. Um, I'm just going to have a look at lap one again, T1. Just I want to see the carnage that ensued behind. Amir did an amazing job. Really well done from Amir. Let's have a look at Brizzle here. Nope, that's not Brizzle. There we go. What are the chances that two Red Kings motorsport drivers get tapped out and then Chris dies later on? Like, people hate the red. People hate the red cars. Most of the place is very close to every mile. Fair enough, Aaron. Didn't know that about you. Only playing 10 TVs before we're back in the booth and pass them all the phone. 100 drunk blokes, the 50th cheering them on. That's amazing. That is so good. <laughs> that is amazing. What was the score? What was the score? Aaron is an alien. Yeah, sixteen years old. If he, uh, Aaron, if he knows this, I've already said this to him. But if he wants to, uh, he wants to progress in sim racing. He's definitely got the ability to do so. And be an esports driver, hundred percent. Just don't forget your roots, Aaron, when you get picked up by an esports team, please. Remember me. Mosh pit T one. <laughs> Fuck sake. Fuck sake. Yeah, I started the mosh. Oh god. Nil nil. All right, shite. I'm bet you're glad you wasted your time, Aaron. <laughs> mosh pit T one. That is ridiculous. Uh, I'm actually going to go off board camera.
and we'll have a look just from a static point of view what it looks like. I feel like a DJ when I have the keyboard like this. Uh, this one, this one. Why am I? Okay, uh, it doesn't want to let me go off board. Come on. Oh, I think it's because the Xbox controller's plugged in. Damn it. Likes to relax with some fun. Mm, I'm not going to say on stream. <laughs> Just in case. Imagine 10 years down the line, Benson. What if a position we're all in? And I'm just cancelled. I'm not going to say anything. I'll leave that to your imagination. I'll let you make your own judgments based on this innocent face. Oh, this. Aaron, you would. I really want to see T1 from an off-board perspective, but uh, keyboard being an ass. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do this first. Whoa, speedy. All right, let's have a look at T1. Oh, I hear them coming. All right, oh, that's it, it's done. Yeah, they come. All right, there's one. That's me. I managed to keep going. I spin someone else. He spins, hits someone else. There's carnage at the back here. All the action kind of happened here, didn't it? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Seth Rogen vibes. <laughs> That's my Seth Rogen impression. Right, let's have a little follow of this. Beamer. There's not a camera angle wide enough for all the action. Oh, okay. What was this one? Ferrari spinning the thing. He spins him. Everybody piles through. There's three cars molesting each other there. In. BMW. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that now. We've got uh, we've got Patrick and the Beamer. Yes, Benson. Okay. I get where you're going with that. But I think we've dissected enough. I'm just, I'm just want to watch Chris's pain one more time from this perspective. Uh, I'm sure he won't mind. Lap 25, I believe. Okay. If you look up ahead, side by side up here. Collision. Terence avoids it. See, the thing is, right, the argument would be that if Chris here didn't hold the brakes, he's going to hit Keenan. So he's done the right thing. It's just massively unsighted, Chris. If you look at the line that everyone's taken, I can see it. Chris can't see it until the very last second. Such bad luck. I like to watch Chris suffering. No, I don't. I like to see the, the collisions and stuff. Rum? Yes, please. Uh, dude, I've got no rum remaining. I'm all out of rum. I'm so lost without you. 
<laughs> my perspective going in this was pretty much fine. Like, I, I, for some reason, I just felt like I could see it all. That's very loud. I'm going to say now, for some reason, I feel like I could see it all unfolding. Probably because Chris punted the car out the way that was in the way. And just for to show everybody what I mean by this turn, I'll try and find a moment. But look at my steering inputs. Every lap, every lap, it was counter steer like that. I mean, that was a bit better. Uh. <laughs> Literally my arms in real life. That. Yes, oh, going in my kitchen. Legal. Interesting. Thank you, Corrado, aka Patrick. Appreciate it, man. And well done to you on your P2. Aston put it. Oh wow, okay. No worries, Ginger. Have a good night. And yes, for everybody that's still here, I will be doing a 24 hour race tomorrow with my German friends uh, for Make a Wish charity in the Ferrari at Watkins Glen. It should be good. There is an esports, so I say esports, the Heimo team is there, consisting of Dara McCormack, Valentin Barrier, uh, Felix, who we raced with on Tuesday, Felix Tavinsa Hager. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, Charlie Crossland. Uh, and Tinko van der Veld, I believe, is in. So, you know, they're okay. We've got a little bit of pace. So we're aiming for P2 <laughs> after 24 hours. But I am going to end the stream there. Uh, probably got a girlfriend that really wants to kill me because she wants to eat. Let me just say thank you all so much for sticking by that. We got the win. Which is amazing. Hopefully we can get something good in the 24 hours. And then Sunday from around about 2pm. We'll be doing the race for Alex with Red Ken Racing. A.K.A. Jamie. And Kino. So stick around for that one. Keep an eye out for the uh, notifications. I know Aaron, right? I'm a lucky man. Uh... <laughs> Well, I'm going to shoot. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'll speak to everybody in Red Kings Motorsport in the Discord. Anybody that wants to join Red Kings Motorsport, even if you just want to have a chat, find up, find out about setups, uh, get a bit of tuition from the likes of me and any of the other guys, join the Discord. I think the link is in the description, and it should be up to date. If it's not, I will redo it. I'll double check. But yes, have a good weekend. Hopefully see some of you tomorrow. Goodbye.